Ladies and gentlemen, this is Super Dodgeball on the Nintendo Entertainment System, gloriously brought to us by Technos back in 1988. You may know Technos from some of their other great NES classics like Double Dragon, River City Ransom, and of course, Super Spike V-Ball. Super Dodgeball is a game that I consider a true great for the NES, and one that I frequently revisit. Now, this is a dodgeball-centric game, so there's really not much in the way of a storyline here. Your goal is to take Team USA all the way through the Dodgeball World Championships in an effort to face the sinister Russian team at the end of the game. The game's premise is pretty simple, really, and is essentially just a three-on-three -three dodgeball game. You've got six total players on the court at a time, with three main players on the court and three more manning the back and sides of the court. These can be repositioned however you want in between stages, so you can mix and match your teammates until you get just the right balance. Each of the players, on top of being able to pass and throw normally, also come with two super throws, and these things are vicious. I mean, they don't just knock out your opponent, it kills them brutally. And, well, that's pretty awesome. One of them can be done by running forward on the court and throwing, and the other can be done while at the peak of a running jump. A lot of the super throws have different effects, too, like ones that can take out an entire team at once, ones that can drop down on the head of an unsuspecting player, or even ones that can whip an opponent through one side of the screen and out the other. Being that this is an NES game, the control scheme is obviously pretty simple. It's a two-button game with one button used to pass and the other one to throw. Running can be done by double tapping forward on the D-pad, and jumping can be done by tapping both A and B together. Super Dodgeball is not just a single-player experience, however. There are a couple of different options as far as playing with a friend goes. First up is the Versus mode, where you can choose to play as any one of the teams that you'll play against in the World Championships, and another mode called Beanball, which is essentially just a crazy free-for-all, where the ultimate goal is just to be the last man standing. The graphics in Super Dodgeball are okay, they're not really outstanding in any way, and there's a ton of slowdown and flickering to deal with. Keep in mind though that this in no way keeps the game from being an absolute blast to play. The stages all look really good and each have a very unique look to them. The sound effects and music though are fantastic. This game does a remarkable job of really making it sound painful when you smash the hell out of your opponent with a super throw, and every bit of the music is catchy and memorable. So, to sum up, Super Dodgeball, while not a terribly long game, actually this one can be finished in maybe 15 minutes or so on average, is an excellent one. It's well worth the $10 or so that you'll probably end up paying for it, and in my opinion, is one of the must-own games for the system. If you just happen to own an NES and have never gotten around to playing this one, do yourself a favor and either jump online or run to the store and buy this game. It's really that good, and it's one of my favorite Nintendo games, period. As always, guys, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for watching and subscribing, and until next time, stay classic.